Hey guys, welcome here, Viking Streaming, and I am here today with Mr. Fatboy Jeffro. Uh, and we will uh, try to give you a little overview over how to use a PV map and use the PV mod package. So let's dive into it. This is our starter farm here on, on the Hill Valley and uh, NBC Master Dad have been so nice to place down all the necessary equipment for a good starter. But uh, that is not the Im important stuff right now. We will take a little drive down to our area where I have set up a little demonstration for you guys. menu in the game so when you are entering your construction menu you will see the pv mods have it its own tab so click that and you will start in the housing we will okay. come we will come back to that in the tier one you are having a lot of different options and that what we are going to look at now so in that menu, is that the only place you can find PV mobs, or in the construction unit, there's another place you find them as well? No. Nope. We'll get to that. Oh, okay. Uh, all what come in the mod page are in this tab, PV mods. So every okay. everything else you find on the buildings and productions that okay. is not linked to the pv mod package i got it okay so the pallet co pallet factory you will find it in the pv mods on the tier one at the very start okay but bear in mind on on the hill valley there are actually two pallet factories built into the map over here. So NPC oh, okay. have already taken care of building down a pallet company for you. So that one is not needed, but but uh, I placed it down here so we could talk about it. Let's Have go in, go into the production menu where you have your pallet company right here. It and says you, it needs it planks needs and nails. Planks and nails and it will output pallets. Okay. So for making pl planks you will need a stone mill. The sawmill are placed up here on the map. Okay. If you try to, to jump to it, see the sawmill is already placed down. If you try to, you need to buy it before you can use it. And 
the sawmill makes wood planks, chipboard, planks, long wood beams, and prefab wall. Okay, so this one, this version, you need this it version. Looks... It's actually a tier two uh, factory. Okay, because you will get uh, as input, you will have to put in wood, electricity, morale, labor, and support. And what these four items are, I will come back to that. But let's say we, we are having uh, our sawmill filled up with, with wood. We, we can do that, actually. So is there another sawmill that just gives <laughs> planks? You don't need electricity and everything? Just use a standard sawmill? Uh, Would that be okay? I don't remember uh, what the other one make. We can go down and take a look at this. So back at the pallet company, I actually put down a sawmill. Uh, let's run a bit faster. Because I wanted to check it out, but now I don't remember where I placed it. I believe it's over here. Okay. <laughs> Too many options. Yeah, up here. No, that one is the same. There was actually another okay. the, the, There is another one in the mod page. Let's try to take a look. TV mods tier 2. This one will make the same as the built in sawmill. But there are actually a sawmill in here that will only make planks, chipboard, wood chips, and resin. But it will still need the, the electricity, labor, and morale as the other ones. So all sawmills are um, linked at, as a tier 2 production. Is there a base game sawmill that makes planks? There is a base game sawmill, yeah. It's actually uh, this one who, who I built in, into the map because that one comes from uh, from Elm Creek. But you can also find one on the mod hub. Uh, let me see. This one. This is a directly from the mod hub, and you can use this sawmill to make the exact same product. Okay. But this one don't need all the PV stuff. So this okay. one makes planks, planks long, wood beams. Prefab wall and wood chips, but you will not get any resin for this uh, out of this one. Okay. All right. So you've still got some options. Then you could use the base game or have the additional benefits of resin and some other things from from the, the PV mods. Yeah. PV mod. Okay. And my best recommendation will be use the PV mods because that is what is linked in the mod package. That is what is linked in the in this map or in any PV map. They are linked to use the different productions and the different inputs. Okay. And all our inputs and outputs comes from. Let me see. Where do we have it? Where do we have it? We do not have it here. Um, I will need to bring up the internet browser and go and find, of course, you can find it. Let me do that like this. All your productions in the 
I mean, to do a screen share. So, all your productions in the PV mods are running out of this script, the production re re ramp. Re -ramp. Okay. Script. And that means by using that, um, you are linked in the production menu here. We are going to do a save. If you're taking a look in your production menu, you can see over here, it's, it says priority 10. And that is, okay. that is the revamp script. So my recommendation for you guys will be change the priority to priority number one and you you will do that for all you can do that for all your your different factories all the way through because when, when you are doing that then the uh, revamp script will make sure that your factories are getting uh, the different inputs they need as a first priority and not as priority number 10 or the last priority. Okay. So carrying on, we are going to put down the, the smelter because for your pallet company, you will need nails and uh, how to make nails you're going to pv mods tier one scroll down the line until you find the smelter okay the smelter is this weird looking thingy and you can use that to make nails steel and gold bar Okay, that's and where the ore and the coal comes in. I see. You have a input of all coal and gold flakes, and where do you get the gold flakes from? I don't know. You can oh, wrong button. You are getting the gold flakes from PV mods, tier one. Then you have two different gold masters. You have a gold master for gravel and you have a gold master for sand. Okay. And the gold masters also have a different input. This one takes sand, water and diesel. Diesel you can buy on your gas station up in town. Oh, okay. So let's just put in some diesel and put in some water and put in some sand. And then remember guys to activate your factory. You see that by this little dot now it's turned blue, it means it's activated. Also says up here, running. So this one is making gold flakes. They are going to your smelter. So on in the production menu, go to your smelter and then remember to activate the gold bar and then change the priority from 10 to 1. Okay, and making it priority 1. Does that, if there was anything else in your production menu, who would call for gold flakes, they would get them as the, on the same time as your, your smelter will. Okay. By putting it to priority one, your smelter have 
the highest priority in the pr production chain so that's the reason why your smelter will get it the first okay we could also try to put in some oil and some coal now normally you would get the ore or the coal just from the mine yeah is that right yeah okay you will so would, uh, you you you, you, just... you will have to to get a, a vehicle could be a wheel loader okay and just uh, scoop it out and a shovel we have it there see on this map on the hill valley you can see this texture on the road it's actually a thin layer of stones that NPC put in so if you if you like if you like oh, you can. Uh, actually scrape them up and you you can use stones for making lime that's also oh. a production in, in the tier one called, called the stone processor. can unload your stones into the stone processor and give it some some diesel and some yeah only diesel i believe let me see yeah diesel it ne needs diesel Six one hundred and fifty liters of stone and make lime gypsum calcium carbonate and limestone okay but back to the oil and and the coal the oil you will find right down here in the left uh, no right corner on the mine This is my favorite wheel loader in the whole game. It really moves. Yeah. It's moving pretty good. Yeah. It's also a MP7 Reba mod. So, just for the look of it, we are going to the PV mods. Tier 1. And putting down a smelter. A bit too much. Just a 
Just, just a little bit. Yeah. Just a tad. But you get the point of it. Yeah. So, by finding all the materials down in, in your mind, you may have in mind you need to own the land. So, what do you do when, when you are having a, a big uh, shovel of, uh, of ore? Put down a silo. Because uh, the ore is valuable. So, don't waste it. So, in the mines, if, if I empty it out, is there a way to replenish it? Uh, when the mines are empty, they are empty. But, empty, uh, okay. in mind, it's some huge piles down here, so you are having multi-millions of liters. Okay. Take this huge coal pile here. You will not be able to to em empty that one on. It uh, really will <laughs> will will take a, a huge effort to empty this one. Let's uh, show how big it is. You see, all this is one big coal pile. Oh, okay. So you uh, you are having coal for quite some <laughs> quite a while. And now we have a shovel of coal, so we go back to our smelter, dump it in, and then you get the picture. So that was the smelters and the gold masters. Okay. But the gold masters actually also produce a thing more called clean fill. And what's what? What's clean fill? Yeah, that's what I wanted to to me uh, to run over now. Clean field is a leftover production from your gold master. And clean field I used. Oh, yeah. You can. The only place you can use the, your clean field is under the PV mod in the power tab and then in your landfill. The landfill is this dump yard looking thing. And that is actually necessary. We are having a bit of issues with some loading things, but yeah, that will do. Um, your landfill will take trash from your houses. And it will also take the clean fill from your gold masters and it will con convert this into electricity. And what are you going oh. to use electricity for, you ask? Let's uh, take a little drive off the mine. And we will cover that.
So, welcome to the top again. We are going to the PB mods and going to others this time. Scroll to the very button and there you'll find a government building. And now what is that, this far thing? You're going to ask. This government building I used to make a distribution platform for your electricity, government support, and support, morale, and labor. And why is that? Yeah. On a PV map, you have the opportunity to make a community by placing down apartments or houses by doing that you are actually making workers so each house you can see that in the production menu on the PV in the housing section you can read here it takes 60 elect electricity to run but it outputs 32 labor or 32 workers and your government building will work as a kind of a silo for electricity labor morale and support so by containing all that in your government building it can buy uh, farming's own distribution method in farming 22 you can go into the production menu look under your government building and you are having it here electricity support morale labor and it automatically are programmed to be on distributing because it distributes all of the four products out to all your different um what's it called uh, factories okay but when are you going to use that you are first going to use the government building and the housing and workers electricity support and morale when you are entering the PV mod tier 2, tier 3 and tier 4 factories. You can see if we are taking the carpen carpenter, you see it's take 4 workers, 6 electricity, 4 support, uh, no 4 morale but 0 support. Where is it a six? I can't see it. <laughs> Sorry. But every different factory with out the rock production takes all of these four different input methods. And Mr. Dashnet made it so so we are building a community within our farm sim game you can call them farm sim xl or farm sim on steroids but the meaning by it is so you have something to to do while you're not up farming then you can take care of your factories then you can take care of your production lines and you can keep yourself busy for hours and hours to come okay and how do you make morale support and all that go to the pv mod and other you are having different kinds of production points that you can put down who actually make these different 
And to pick one. So all of these thick rosary marks the tailor shop and the boarding center and all of that are making these different inputs. So your tailor is making mo morale. The the tailor shop is no the toy store is making morale. The tailor shop is making community and trash. And so on and so on. Your grocery is making support. Your firehouse is also making support. Your boarding center is making morale. You're getting labors from the houses. You're getting electricity from You can see on uh, PV watts and on the power, yeah. you will need to put down some kind of power factory. So you can do it. You can read here, it may mix 10 methane and converts it into one electricity. So this one, the bioheating plant, is not taking any workers or something. It just makes electricity, but it only makes one electricity, and yeah, that is not so much. Then you can go totally bananas and can put down a coal plant. That's a, a huge factory, but that one makes power for, for the next 100 years. As you see, it's a very big mud, but read on, on, on the little signs how much power each different are making. The solar station is actually my favorite, or the steam turbine, but I used to, to, to build the solar stations when I'm getting uh, further on because you will get you will need batteries and solar um, panels but you are first able to make that when you're having your electronics building and your cover by design so that's only uh, first when you're getting your tier four stuff you are able to, to make the inputs that are needed but for all of this to to give any sense to you guys i actually made a pdf document where i am going through the government building is a silo and a distributor of electricity around labor and support i already went through that and also telling about these little signs under each factory, telling about the production revamp, telling about the mining products, and also telling a bit about the different um, inputs, your morale, your electricity, support and community are one and the same, so have that in mind and labor is your workers they live in the houses and apartments that you are building but only the lay, uh, the apartments and houses in the pv mod section so mr jeffro are you having any questions for all that uh so one of the things is what would be a benefit to PV production item over, say, a base game item, like a regular spinnery versus a PV spinnery. Yeah, great question. So, 
any I actually see it taking this finery placing it down taking this finery from This is the TV spinnery and it takes wool, electricity, labor, morale, cotton and hemp. It makes fabric. And our normal spinnery takes only wool and cotton. And makes fabric. So the PV1 takes also hemp. That's the difference because hemp is a is a new crop type. If we are going onto the map and looking, all the additional crops you are getting are rye, millet, rice, carrot, hemp, cranberry, mustard, lavender, peanut, blueberry, and coffee. And blueberry and coffee are um, on wines like the grapes and olives so have that in mind you will not be able to find them in the pv section so there you have to go to production and go on the orchards and here you have a grape olive blueberry and coffee so blueberry and coffee you will have to find under the production menu under orchards but that is the only two things in the pv uh, mod section of pv mod you will have to find otherwise than in the pv mod category so did that answer your your question mr on the spinnery that the PV spinnery is taking hemp and the normal in game one is not. Mr. Jeffro. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, answers my question. So the, the PV one takes additional items. Yeah. Okay. And so is it for many of the uh, of the PV uh, mods, they take some other items that you're not used to. So I guess that also is able to help you out in, in other areas of some of the PV mods in the map area using the PV mod instead of the base game. Uh, I will always use the, the PV mods first when I'm playing on a PV map because they are built to handle the production units you are having in this map. Okay. I actually never use uh, use the in-game stuff on the PV and tier one. You also have the orchards. And what is that? It takes com compost, lime, fertilizer, herbicides, and water. And then you can make apple, pear, plum, cherry, orange, apricot, peach, banana, cocoa, coconut, and pecan. And it will take these inputs to so just choose if you are having a, a apple orchard. Now we are having apple trees. Oh, okay. And now we are saving again. 
if you deactivate the apple and put on oranges then you get orange trees you see so it just switches but it it is actually the same mod i got you and all the inputs from uh oh let me rephrase uh all the outputs from the orchards you can use in the juice factory or in other factories so with so many different options and so much going on if, yeah if you're just starting out yeah what might be the best first steps to do to try and start getting into the pv mod area should you place maybe a government building or start putting down something else first but what's a good starting path maybe yeah great question let's start by saying there are no right or wrong okay with that said we are going back to our starter farm and you say you just started the the map and you are spawning out here and you're looking on this this is your start and how do you do from here so right first i will say it depends of your play style if you are doing as me i am impatient so i tend to spawn in money build the farm i want get the machinery I want and then go to town after that if you are playing more realistically starting out with your starting material harvesting your fields building your farm nice and steady then I, I would recommend to start under the PV mods here one getting you a uh, so you can um, process your grain and getting yourself a oven so you can make some bread okay. and get yourself a oil production so you can make oil from your canola and get yourself a stone processor so you can make lime and of course get yourself a sugar mill so you can make sugar from your sugar beets so you can use that in your oven to make cakes but okay so you start out on the the tier one items and slowly start building from there yeah you're starting by using the tier one item because you can use them without having a government building so by only having the tier one items you can do that from scratch you do not need to have the government building and then you can slowly build your farm okay and then after this point what would be the next step after this Need point well let's see you have played with that a couple of in-game years you are now having some money you have expanded your farm a bit so now it's time to find a place on your map where you want to put down your government building okay that's on the pv mods and others and right here so then you're up building your government building on where where you want it actually it don't have be it have to be near your farm or something just random place one on the map i actually did that on my save game of on the hill valley we can try to take a look into that we can actually do that now then I can show you what I did okay
But while this is loading, I've I've got a question here for you. Yeah, go on. So let's say you're wanting to start maybe a bee farm or, or something else. What might be how does one kind of keep up with what's needed? So let's say you need the bee farm and well you've got to have hive production. Yeah. Is it so. you just you just kind of go through each thing? And then you kind of get used to how things are needed. Well, or is... right now there are no charts or something listing okay. where the different products are coming from. I know there are one going to be made, but that is not made yet. Okay. Uh, so for right now, for right uh, now, the best thing is just look at the icons. And then your PDF document has various things labeled out. Uh, so if you yeah, can't but, see it on the screen, at least you can see that. Yeah. But for a high production, you will need uh, resin. No, you will need glue. Glue. Glue, okay. And you get that from the glue factory. So, this is my tape game. You're just going to take random tractor one and take a drive down. Remember, Rulane, I just <laughs> Okay. So, what did I do on my save game? And I will come back to, to that we have a question in just a minute. But uh, we were talking about the government building. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, what what I did. So I actually yeah. took down all these trees over here. Made a nice concrete path, a uh, patio, and then I built a Built the government building right here and then I put down a couple of solar stations so I could have some electricity okay then I put down a composter so I can make compost compost is needed for your orchards and for your greenhouses but it is also a nice thing to sell if you need money Over here, I put down some, uh, the bakery, a couple of diaries, the grain mill, and the sugar mill, and the diesel factory. And let's talk a bit more about this diesel factory, because that is actually a bit of hiding things. Okay, so just so I kind of have an understanding. Yeah. When you started out, you went ahead and place things down you you got your farm set up like you said then you went ahead and placed the government building down and kind of went from there does that yeah, sound right uh, yeah okay. uh, that's uh, how i do it um okay. uh, i do not play ultra realistic i play uh, yeah. like i want to and spawn in the the, the money i need um that's also the, the reason why i can have 10 million on my bank account in yeah here. Uh, but that's my play style so the, for <laughs> anybody really the the first good step in any kind of play style eventually you you need to place the government building down the government building on okay. each and every pv map that you need okay it, it's your government building because this is the 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 thing who are taking care of the electricity labor morale and support and you will need that for every factory you're going to build down every factory uh, in tier okay. two tier three tier four and tier three they will need the input from the government building okay and the government building's input is what again electricity electricity and labor morale and support okay so on my save game 
I, I always used to do. We can take a, a drive down there now. I always make an area somewhere on my map where I'm going to to make my my own little city, if you you can call it that. All these factories up here in the city on the map, I, I always you uh, use them. Uh, but there there are no houses on the map. Yeah, there, there are houses, but they are the only decoration. They are not working as a PB house. Okay. So they are not making any workers for you. Can you buy the property, delete the house, and put exactly? The... Yeah. Oh, okay. So you just buy the property and then delete the house you will get no money for the house itse itself because you, you did not pay any money for it and then you you just build the, the houses you want to okay so that's a nice thing uh with the pv maps and you know, like underhill that we're on now you already kind of have various little city areas you so have you, yeah. could, you you could utilize those existing areas if you wanted to yeah and sure just, sure sure delete the house put one down and then that helps with uh support workers that kind of stuff okay this area we we are coming down to now we're actually filled up with trees so I cut them down and uh, put in a little housing area. What do you call this? So I put okay. down a couple of apartment buildings. Put in the silver run market. So I also have a sales point down here. Okay. And I have uh, the library, the park, firehouse bowling center and so on down here so this is my area where i actually make all this morale support and all, all all of that okay but your government building is way on the other side of the map so they don't have to be close to each other no 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 not at all okay okay they only need to be on the same map <laughs> okay you cannot utilize the government building from uh, uh, your Wolf Creek safe game when you are playing on Underhill Valley. That yeah, not work. yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, you know, just have to put it out there. If, if they uh, are any uh, totally uh, new uh, comers to, to this, and sure. That is also the the purpose by this video. We are actually trying to 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 show. That is actually not so hard to, to start a, a playthrough on on a PV map. You just have to pay a bit of attention to to the different details, and then come into our streams. Ask if you are having any questions on my Discord, and I will make a, a link for for my Discord in this video. And you are also welcome to join my stream and uh, ask for my discord in chat and then you can get an invite link and then i have a a group or a channel in in my discord named pv mods and maps and you can get get into that and ask your questions and they will be answered right away or as fast as possible yeah so that was going to be one of my questions is if if someone does have issues or questions uh about kind of the pv uh i guess the pv world we could call it yeah uh, or say the map itself yeah is there yeah, besides yeah, yeah. outside like your stream or your discord yeah there are the sga website sim game okay. alliance website yeah. uh, I can jump over, over there now and show you. So the Sim Game Alliance, or do they all stream? Do they all have individual streams? 
Uh, most of them stream, but not all okay. of them. Uh, but okay. I guess uh, about a bit over 20 streamers in the Sim Game Alliance. I okay. am not a Sim Game Alliance member. Let me put it out there right away. I am not a Sim Game Alliance member. I am a member of the community, but not a, a member of the group. I am not a team member. Okay. Let me put it out there right away. Right, right. Maybe I will someday. Maybe I won't. I don't know. So yeah, that's. But if you're <laughs> just looking for support, then if you're looking this... for support, you're going to the SimGameAlliance dot com. Okay. You will you will have to make a account there. It is free. You will have to sign up by using your email, and that is just for safety purposes. Okay. And you can go in here under support. And then you choose, is it for the PV mods? Is it for Boom Hour, Billy Alpaca, X-Men, Big Daddy, Fermions, and so on and so on? Who have the, uh, who do you want to, to address the ticket for? I see, okay. And right now we are playing on a, a map made by NPC Master Dad. So we will click on his name. Go. Be sure the name is marked and then open a ticket. Oh, okay. And then you can go in. So department, it's NBC master that priority. It's up to you. And then you fill in your ticket. If you're having issues, if you're having something wrong in your game I, I see I will always recommend you to go in to your file explore go to documents my games farming simulator 22 and find your log file and attach that log file into your ticket you can attach files here because that makes sense. every time they are getting a ticket on the website, they are having no living chance of helping you if you are not attaching your log file. Okay. Your log file is a kind of what you call the footprint of your game. Right. And if you're not giving them a chance to, to see that, yeah. It's yeah, a waste, so if, waste of so time. If you you know? had an error, yeah, if you had an error or something else come up that you need addressed, you could submit a ticket. If you had like floating trees or maybe a building or something has gone strange. If you happens. find floating trees, if you find something wrong with a mud in the PV tab, not with your own mud, of course, but in the in this area if yeah. all of these mods in here if there are something wrong with them go in and make a ticket attach your log okay. file and they will answer you and may, maybe maybe you think a screenshot or something would help if they had floating trees or absolutely what? make make okay. a make a screenshot and be sure to have your mini map open in game because they can see the coordinates in the uh, left left down okay. corner. They can see the coordinates on on your position, and by seeing that they have a kind of steering point where to go in the editor. Okay. Because they need to go into the editor to address floating trees. Floating trees. So outside the, the ticketing, off the FGA SGA website, is there a way to see who's streaming or if they have a stream, that yeah. kind of stuff? So maybe you just go into the stream is. and ask a question. It is. Okay. Let's open the, the web browser again. On twitch.tv slash stream slash team 
Davis Streaming, slash team, slash same game alliance. They have their own tab, and you can see all the streamers that are in the oh, I see. stream team. You can see them in here. So right now, we can see Mr. Dashnet and Mr. Jabapo are streaming right now. Okay. So if you had a if, PV mod question or something like that, well, you will go Dad in. Is, is, yeah, he's Dashnet. streaming, and you could go in there and say, "Hey, I've got a question." You can always go into each and every one of the SGA streamers stream and ask a question. If the streamer itself not able to answer it, he can address it to to whomever can help. Okay. So, and guys, just ask. Ask away. They will not bite you. They will not laugh of you. They will not make fun of you in the stream. They are actually quite friendly people. Quite nice guys. So okay. go and ask. Follow them. Please do. They are great guys. And yeah. I guess it's uh, it was um, our uh, our tour that uh, now have ended. And um, if you are having any questions for this this video, please make a, a comment under the video. Come into my stream on Twitch. I am Viking Streaming 2021. Or maybe come into. Uh, for Jeffro, and that is uh, the Fab Fam on Twitch. And go in, give us a, a follow, give us a, a, a comment on the way. So, yeah. Have fun, guys. And I hope you li like playing on the PV maps. Alrighty, Viking and Jeffro out.